Okay, seeing live musicals is always a treat. It's even sweeter when you hear just how much work goes into them. So let's pass it on over to Ron and Lincoln. They are with some special guests from the West Valley Symphony Performing Arts Center talking about Legally Blonde, and you guys have both seen this, and you've been talking it up like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't go the same night. No. But, uh, we didn't go together. <laughs> that's we didn't go together. That's right. clear. Clear. <laughs> A lot of people, though, they're definitely <laughs> loving Legally Blonde. It's playing at the West Valley Performing Arts Center. We're here with John Sweeney, Vice Chair of the West Valley Arts Foundation and Brooklyn Kohler, Director of Legally Blonde. Thanks Thank so you. much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And the show, I mean, talk about energy, the singing, talent, everything just explodes in there. I love yeah. it. Yeah. It, it's like a little bit of a freight train through that act mm -hmm. one. Like it starts off big and you feel like you're in the middle of the Delta New House with a bunch of, you know, like sort of gaggling girls. I don't even <laughs> know. They're all so excited. So right from the get-go, you're like in the story. And I think it just propels from there and then you're kind of just on Elle's journey. For those who, maybe they don't see a lot of theater, okay? Maybe they don't go to this often. They think of the term community theater and they think amateur perhaps. Or they don't think, oh, I may have fun, but this isn't gonna yeah. be yeah. I was blown away by this production. <laughs> I was too, I mean, Honestly, totally. this was really, yeah. really professional. Good. Thank Can you, you talk about what went into this and the talent? Well, I think this community has so much talent and, and John sees more auditions than probably anyone in the state <laughs> so um, so ultimately though we just have so much talent in this community and so when when you go to see community theater there is a lot of really good talent we just were able to sort of gather a bunch of very talented artists together that are all local and we're really happy with how it all turned out it's so fun and as director how much is Brooke into this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you definitely see my stamp on it. You yeah. you've known me directing at the Desert Star as well, so you see my type of humor kind of woven through it. But the actors bring so much to it yeah. as well that sometimes it's just a matter of finessing those moments so that it's a universal language. And comedy yeah. is a universal language. If who doesn't want to like leave work and then grab dinner and go laugh and see a show. Like, it's yeah, so we, good. You're a genius at that, well, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> well, I can say that as a producer at mm -hmm. West Valley Arts, mm -hmm. we try to match our directors with the show, right? And and the, and when we thought of Brooklyn and we thought of the, the comedic timing of this woman and her vision and direction, we knew that Legally Blonde was perfect for her. Oh. So. Talk about the material itself, because <laughs> it I, I, I had seen the movie, obviously. Sure. I had never seen the musical up until now. So describe what you were working with in terms of the type of show this is and how people like it. Yeah, I mean, the, the movie is so well known, but there are aspects of the musical that are a complete departure yeah. <laughs> from it as well. So, um, like for instance, the Paulette character is obviously very different in the musical version. She's from Boston, she's obsessed with Ireland. <laughs> like, so it's so different than Jennifer Coolidge <laughs> playing uh, playing Paulette. So I think there are aspects where you really can mold your own, and you're not in the shadow of what the movie was. And you have a couple of canine stars too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who doesn't love puppies? Yeah, we have a Chihuahua, itty bitty, and Nova is the bulldog that right. is Paulette. So. Okay, there's something else we want to talk to, kind of a backstory to this. Uh, the theater there in West Valley, beautiful theater by the way, but it came that close to closing, right? Yeah, um, essentially since Hale Center Theater had left yeah. the building, mm -hmm. there was a period of time where there was some, you know, looking at what, what, what does West Valley City want to do with the building? And they determined that they wanted to try and build a theater company. But I think in, in the end, you know, the, the idea of this government agency running a theater company just wasn't working out. And so there was a discussion of, you know, possibly uh, moving the theater company to the Utah Cultural uh, Celebration Center. Um, but then we came in and just talked to them about how can we maybe spin this out as its own nonprofit, the West Valley Arts Foundation, and, uh, you know, put some guardrails around budget and operations, leave a lot of the creative teams in place and and uh, and try to get, go out on our own, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what we're doing. Are you guys gonna make it? I mean, is it 
is it tough right now? Yeah, I mean, obviously running a nonprofit can be very difficult, yeah. but in this environment, there are plenty of individuals and corporations out there that are willing and interested in seeing their name associated with West Valley Arts Foundation. And so we're hoping that the attention that we got with all this from West Valley City will help provide us an opportunity to, you know, put a name on a seat, put a, you know, name on a rehearsal hall, put a name on the building, who knows, yeah. um, and, and then allow um, our organization to run this creatively because we've created something wonderful, affordable, uh, friendly theater, shows that not everyone's doing, Legally Blonde as an mm -hmm. example, and we want to be able to, to give that to the community. And, uh, and, and from that standpoint, represent the people of West Valley City when we're doing that. Whoever wants to comment on this, why do you think it's so important to have uh, you know, uh, an entity like this within a community like West Valley? We only just have a few seconds left. But. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I think that it has to represent the community. So to have people have a home for people to creatively go and express themselves probably the most important aspect and yeah. it's the only theater on the west side of the valley there yeah. okay if you want to see legally blonde time's running out though yeah. right yes two weeks so this weekend and next weekend um you can grab those tickets at wbcarts.org Org. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. great job love the show we highly recommend it yeah yep <laughs> very thank very you. good definitely yeah. go see it thank you yeah. so much for yeah. the thank you appreciate your time